Darrell Jazz Johnson here, MSG Varsity, Fathers and Sons Magazine, RazzingJazzSports.com. I'm here with uh, Tim Hardaway Sr. have to add the senior in there now. Yes, you have to. Uh, father of New York Knicks uh, rookie, Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim, how are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. You know, Happy New Year to everybody. So, so take us back a year ago. Your, your son is uh, playing for Michigan, uh, or, or 10 months ago. Uh, what was it like going through that run to, to the championship game for you as a, as a parent watching your son uh, perform? A lot of fun. A lot of fun, first of all. Um, just watching your son grow out there as a basketball player, you know, not, not a person. We, we, we know what type of person he is. Um, he's a great person um, off the court. But on the court, just you know, just seeing how he grew uh, as a leader, you know, uh, uh, understanding how to play the game, understanding how to, um, um, you know, just 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 take his team to another level, and um, that's what I saw, and that's what I loved about his game and his uh, progression of the game. As a as a father, at what point did you think, wow, my my son really has some potential? playing at a big-time college or even in the pros? At what age did you see that in, in your son? After his first year in college. Um, his freshman year in college, you know, I, I say he, he has a chance to make it to the NBA and uh, follow his dream and, um, you know, um, just, ha just have fun for the rest of his life. And, you know, after, after that first year, I, I told him, I said, you, you have a chance. You definitely have a chance if you work on your game and um, – you know, if you take it to another level, another level each and every year. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but when he was drafted by the team he was drafted by, what was your reaction? Great. <laughs> it was. Um, I was just um, so full of joy and happy for him because, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what team you go to. Um, to me, it matters just to get in and get you, just get your feet. Um, pass the doors of an NBA team and go out there and um, show them that you can play. That's all That's all it was about. It didn't matter who it was. I just wanted him to just go out there and just do his thing and show people that he can play this game of basketball. Final question. When you walk into this arena, you've, you've played so many games here. What what thoughts come to your mind uh, of, of your experience here at Madison Square Garden? Oh, man, um, the mecca of um, basketball, um, you know, the media. Um, the fans, um, you know, being on um, national TV, um, you know, I mean, this is where everybody say it started. This is where everybody say, you know, you had the most fun, you know, against the New York Knicks. Um, you know, the, where NBA is, is headquarters is at, you know, this, this, is, this is where it's at. And, and I had so much fun playing here against the Knicks. And um, I enjoyed myself, and we had some good battles. Um, some of them didn't go the Miami Heat's way, but um, you know there were some great battles, and it was for the fans. And and um, you know I I wouldn't change nothing about it. It was I had a lot of fun here, and I love the fans here because they will tell you what it's about, and that's what fans are about. All right, thank you very much for your time, Tim. Thank you.